down the AC even though it is extremely hot out here. Um, it's about 10.30 and I am headed to my plastic surgeon because if you recall, I told you I had an appointment, a um, teledoc or video appointment on Wednesday, which was yesterday, today is Thursday. And I found out some interesting results from a previous CT scan that I had done in May. And I'm pretty sure you all went along with me for that CT scan. But even though I'd already gone back to see that particular doctor since then and she'd given me the results, she did not mention back then what she told me yesterday, which was that they saw inflammation in my right breast and thickening on the left. So the inflammation, I don't know about the thickening. I don't really feel anything on the left side that's unusual. So maybe that's just all internal and it's not affected me as far as what I feel. I don't know if that's good, bad, or indifferent. I, I'll find out today because I'm going to see a plastic surgeon. Um, but the inflammation kind of confirmed what I already knew, but I just wasn't sure that what I was feeling and suspecting was accurate because I kept, I've mentioned the tightness that I feel across my chest. Well, lately it's mostly just been on this side, but I just thought, you know, hey, it's just the muscle spasm that I've had all along. But then the other day I noticed that this side is kind of flat on my chest and it's like, not flat on the right side so I'm thinking well I was thinking that that was because um, the muscle was tight and it was probably pushing the implant up maybe I don't know but I think there's something wrong there's something wrong there's definitely something wrong I feel a fullness on this side that I don't feel on the other side <laughs> and So I'm going to have that checked. So I'm just going to quit saying I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying in the house because every time I say that, it's like I have to go back out. So luckily, the plastic surgeon was able to see me first thing this, well, this morning, not first thing. So I hope it's nothing. I hope they could just give me an antibiotic or something, make it go away because I'm really tired of all of these complications and back and forth stuff. I thought I was done, but I'm not done. Stuff keeps popping up and maybe I need to move. <laughs> and I know that sounds drastic, but I think maybe it's just too hot here that my body can't take it. I don't know. But I don't know where I would go. I mean, I only really truly have one option and that's to go to my mom's until I can figure out where I wanna be. I would probably just end up staying around there somewhere. Cause, yeah. Oh. But then I hate to leave because all my doctors are here. And the horror stories that I hear about, I mean, things aren't perfect here, but things aren't perfect anywhere. Um, but I feel like the healthcare here is uh, at least 99% better than other places that I've heard about and seen for myself. Like when Jasmine, you think she had food poisoning. When she got sick when we were on vacation in Maryland, we were going, we went to DC, but we stayed in Maryland. We, we went to the hospital and the whole hospital, the, the whole ER section area, that was a, like a total joke. I would never want to be sick and have to go to the hospital there. 
and <laughs> she threw up in the waiting area then she was fine so luckily she didn't have to go in there either it was just a joke I'm like is this what they call a hospital here oh yeah I'm never leaving Florida <laughs> because the hospitals here are nice well North Carolina has good hospitals too well they did when I lived there I don't know what they got now but I'm sure like Durham Raleigh Chapel Hill area they have good hospitals now, I don't know how they are about people of color in those hospitals but yeah it's like I'm learning more and more I guess I'm just naive to some things but I'm learning more and more now that I'm older about how black people and people of color are treated as far as the health care um, yeah as far as health care um, I didn't know I didn't know I guess I've just been lucky I've been really really lucky with the doctors that I've gone to and with the health care that I've received and quite a few of my doctors are or were black or people of color and let's see there's one doctor that stands out really to me he was my OBGYN when I was pregnant with Nadia I believe and he's retired now but he was a little white man <laughs> But his whole office staff was people of color. And I, that made me feel comfortable going there. Because it used to amaze me. I don't know why, but it did. It amazed me. His entire staff, front desk, his nurses, everyone was someone of color. So, and then where I don't know where the other other places I went but yeah I never felt any type of discrimination as far as health care since I've been here or when I was in North Carolina really but I probably was like I said I don't notice a lot of stuff but I think if they were blatantly racist acting or funny acting then I probably would have noticed as far as my hair I think that my strap on, I, I gotta figure out a way to better style it without making it get frizzy. The strap on my um, CPAP mask, it like goes across this part and then across the back. And a lot of times I just get up and I don't realize that even though I think I fluffed it out good, I'm not doing a good enough job because I can, like in when I record the videos, I can still see the dent in my hair from that strap so I need to work on that I got enough mirrors and angles that I can look in my bathroom that I can check that but I don't know why I don't I just don't I'm not used to it I guess years of not having to care about styling my hair before I walk out the door have made me lazy And I miss having my hair to hide behind and hid a whole host of sins. Um, even though some of those sins have gotten worse since the hair has been gone. Um, but yeah. What did I do yesterday? I didn't spend any time in the craft lab yesterday. I, sp I hope that wasn't loud. I spent a lot of time... Um, Going through some emails and answering emails and yeah, I don't know what else I did after my appointment. Oh yeah, I did do a little in the craft lab. I cleaned off my desk a little bit. I took some photos last night and I also spent some time um, making some future posts. I really want to get a good amount of future posts set up. Uh, across social media on the different platforms so that I don't feel like I'm always scrambling at the last minute to get something up and this morning 
like right before I was waking up, I was thinking of what I was going to post today and what I could post tomorrow. And do you know, I cannot even think of what that was. I should have got right up and wrote it down. But now I can't remember. It was just like in the twilight zone of my brain. I think my phone got too hot. I had it plugged in. Plus it was up there in the hot window. So anyway, yeah, I think my brain was in the twilight zone because I lost it. But I think what I wanted to do was put up a throwback Thursday today. And whatever I was going to put up today, I was moving it till tomorrow. But I don't know what that was. But yeah, so also, I think it was last night. My days are running together, of course. I ordered a pouch because I wanted a pouch for all my hair stuff. Because as you know, before I didn't really have any hair stuff because I had locks. All I needed was some clips and some oil, shampoo or whatever, but I don't you know, carry around shampoo. Anywho, so I've got these clips that I use and elastics that I use when I'm twisting my hair to keep the other hair out of the way. I got my rat tail comb. I've got my detangle brush. And so I don't have anything to put all that in and I would like to keep it together. So I was like, oh, I have my planner pouch sitting on the bed. And I was like, oh, I should get another pouch and I could use that. So the pouch that I have is from Go Mine and Coco. So I went on Go Mine and Coco's site to see if I could find another pouch. And I did, I ordered it only to wake up this morning and the jewel box is coming out with a pouch on July 17th and I have to get it because it's really cute so I gotta I have to get it it's just I got to um so I'll have three uh oversized pouches but I do I don't know I could probably who knows by then by the time I get the um one from the jewel box I'll have a use for it I'm sure I really like those big pouches I don't like the small pouches I like the big pouches because you can actually depending on how big your planner is you can actually fit a small planner or traveler's notebook in there and I just kind of like having that beside the bed for you know planner stuff because I tend to do a lot of planning in the bed or sitting in the bed or whatever because I spend a lot of time in my room we all do at the house that's kind of what we do when we come out and congregate every once in a while but for the most part that's what we do turn that down hopefully it wasn't too loud but gotta keep the phone cool extra hungry today we did um get the little big meal deal from the fresh market which was um portobello burgers and then i got one with this the plain burgers and i put some of them in the freezer and then i stacked them with some um wax paper in between so if I want to just cook a burger I can just take one out and cook it even Julian remarked ooh that was a good burger it was just like what a burger should be because the little big meal deal it came with toppings for the burger so it had lettuce tomato and onion and it was fresh and even though I don't like all that I don't like the tomato on my burger so but he wanted the, he doesn't like the onion. And Nadia just wants lettuce and onion. So it worked out. And I put the rest in the refrigerator. We might have the rest of those burgers. I put the rest of the veggies in the fridge. We'll probably have those burgers for the fourth. I don't know. She still wants macaroni and cheese on the fourth. And the meal deal came with macaroni salad. And she said it was good. It was, eh, it was all right to me, but it wasn't that good. I prefer mine <laughs> over theirs. Um, but so everybody was happy with their dinner yesterday but now I am starving I don't know what that is I guess this is about the time that I usually would eat what I consider breakfast or lunch or brunch or whatever 
I don't know if I should go to Dollar Tree when I leave here um, and see if they have the discount system. I would love to get that so I can do, well, I want to check the quality and I want to share it. But I haven't been able to find it yet. Not that I haven't really been looking that hard. It's just when I'm, I have to go to Dollar Tree anyway, or I'm in the area of a Dollar Tree, then I go. Okay, I'm off. I hope my hair is not looking like a total and complete and utter disaster. Let's see. I should ask them, do they have any masks that they can spare? I'll be back. Woo. Hot. Okay. I'm done with that. Water is warm now. Okay, so he really threw me when he said I have a few options, one of which is to remove them. I mean, they act like this stuff is just like going to the store buying a pack of bubble gum or something. I'm like, huh? <laughs> but he says that usually the, the problem would be hardening, and I don't have hardening, so he wants even though I don't have hardening, let me come see that on. Even though I don't have hardening, he wants me to take vitamin E and see if that helps because it can um, soften up scar tissue and loosen things up. So hopefully that'll work and I have to go back in a month and two months or so. Unless something else major happens, he wasn't really that um, bothered by what they were seeing on, on the report. But I did get a copy of the report so I can see for myself. Oh yeah, his other option was I could get them smaller. They're not big as it is. And yeah. I wish they would tell you every little thing that they see when they do this stuff. They don't. And I don't like that. And I don't. I wonder if it has to do with if they diagnose it or find it, then they have to treat it. I wonder if that's what that is. Because I was told that that's why some places won't test for stuff or whatever. When I was at the oncologist, I asked him to check something. Uh, could I get the blood work done at the same time? Cause I had another order for blood work for something else and she told me no because if they find anything then they have to treat it I was like okay so I don't know if that's why they don't tell you everything but from now on when I have these tests done I'm gonna ask for I, I should have been doing that all along but I want I need to ask for a copy of my results or get online and look at the results myself because obviously I'm not being informed about everything and I want to know everything, everything. And he told me to start doing like stretching exercise. He said this one was always up higher, but it seems like it's up a lot higher and noticeably bigger. I don't know. Because Nadia, she, because I asked her before I even told her what was going on, I said, which one's bigger? Which one's higher? And she picked it out right off, not even thinking about it. And I had on a shirt and a bra. So, yeah. So, also, the lady was, oh, your blood pressure is high. Now, mind you, what is going on here? This is after this woman let this thing re-squeeze my arm three times and my arm was hurting because I have that little bruised area. I guess it's because of that. And let me see, go back on. And I was already a little I don't know. I get anxious and I had to walk across the hot parking lot 
to get in there. I think then she had me holding my arm down. Aren't you supposed to hold your arm across your chest when you take your blood pressure? I don't know. But that's usually what they tell me at the other doctor's office. She'll say, hold your arm like this. So I don't know. I was already like irritated when that thing started squeezing my arm again. So when the cuff started squeezing again, so I was like, she, she was like going on and on about it being high. I was like, well, I guess so. After my arm got squeezed to death. She's like, I'm really sorry. Me too. My arm still hurts. It hurt the last time I went in there. How is, why is it that when I go there, my arm is sore when I leave? But anywhere else I get my blood pressure checked, it's not. So I'm going to keep an eye on it. I'm going to check it myself. I have a wrist cuff at home. So I'll do that. Probably I was just a little wound up wondering what's wrong with the boob. And I still don't know. It's just, it's not the same. So now I have a headache. I felt the headache coming on when she was squeezing my arm to death. very slight like in the background kind of headache I need to find me some new shoes too I'm just as picky about my shoes as I am <laughs> about my purses even though I'm not picky about how much stuff costs and it being fancy name brand I'm more picky about the practicality of the thing so like the shoes, it probably wouldn't make a difference if I was still driving an automatic, but for the most part, I'm driving a manual shift. So I can't drive well with slides on. I need some real shoes. So right now, the only real shoes that I have other than my gym shoes are, is a pair of retro Reeboks black, and they are worn out and they don't really go with you know everything I want to wear and I don't wear I haven't been wearing my sandals because my toes look atrocious um, I'm trying to get that managed but I don't want to paint my nails so I gotta get my nails looking decent to be displaying my I guess I could paint them, but anyway. Okay, so I'm on my way home. Um, I guess I'm, I guess I'll just get on Amazon and order some vitamins or the vitamin shop or somewhere like that. Yeah, I'm not going um, hunting in the drugstore or anywhere else. It's, I'm going home. So I told my dad it's too hot. He talking about his lawnmower stopped working on him halfway through the lawn and he hate to leave the lawn um, halfway cut. I'm like, it's better than passing out out there in the heat. <laughs> so yeah. Let that grass stay for another day. Like I was saying here, I would like to buy myself a lawnmower for the house because it would be nice to be able to cut the grass in theory, but I know I'm a big old chicken and I'm not going to do it because I've seen too many strange things outside <laughs> for me to be, especially in the backyard, especially in the backyard. It's like the jungle out there to me. All kinds of creepy crawlies. I think I'm going to um, sketch out what I want to do for thank you cards. I need to use those dies that I got and I did get one that said thanks or thank you. One of the two. And I think I want to make a shaker with it. A shaker card. I think I got enough sequins and 
beads and stuff to do that that I need to use. So maybe I'll work on that. I don't know how hot it is in the craft lab. I mean, the air conditioner does work in there for the majority of the day, but when the sun starts setting and beaming directly into that room in the afternoon, it's hot in there, even with the air conditioner going. I mean, it's bearable, but yeah. And then um, on one of my videos, I had the fan blowing and it was blowing and I guess it messed up the mic on my camera. It was interfering with the mic, so like part of the video, the um, volume was low and strange sounding, which made me realize I do need to go ahead and invest in a microphone, but most of them are USB, and I don't think I can use a USB mic on, on the, um, my camera. that I record my videos on. I think when it's time for me to get another camera, I'm getting another camcorder. I think I like the camcorder quality. I do. And I like the ease of use. Um, I am not ready for a DSLR. Um, yeah, I don't, don't want to invest that kind of money. Plus, I don't have the desire to learn how to use it right now. So when I get to that point, if ever, Let's say, if I ever get to 100,000, I hope I remember this, if I ever get to 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, then I will start working on getting a DSLR. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's the goal. That's the goal. You need to write that down. and have some salad and I know Julian's not gonna like that but I get over it maybe I'll make some macaroni salad for Nadia we'll see oh, the trash man came and they still didn't get this thing I need to read the trash information all right i'm home i hope you enjoyed it was fun thanks for watching i'll holla at y'all next time stay safe bye